I come out to fish today and I've been out here for a couple hours and honestly I find myself just sitting here thinking not even really caring about fishing this is something I love you know I was raised here in Tennessee it's what I love to do and then I have to keep constantly reminding myself that I can come outside and do this today but I know a family that won't even let their kids come out the door right now because there's a hate group running around and our good old lawmakers in Nashville won't do shit about it. But yet, somebody else does something, they'll rhetoric, oh, it's a hate speech, and arrest them. But yet, you're saying that this group has freedom of speech. And, and I, I said this yesterday, at what cost, man? They are a terrorist group. And I'm going to keep speaking up to until our lawmakers hear it. You know, the one positive thing that I saw in, in that video was the comments behind it that there is more of us than them. And I'm glad to see that, that there is more of us saying, hey, we're not going to take this shit anymore. See, I grew up swearing up and down that this is a uh, fair, free, equal opportunity for all. And I've learned it's not. See, for me, I could come outside today, but for a friend of mine, they can't. Because they got to worry about some group coming around bullying them and just being downright bigots and pieces of shit. And how's that fair? How's that fair? I could walk out my door today, come fishing, but yet me call my friends and say, hey, man, you want to go? Nah, man. Now, him not tell me nothing, but I know. I know it hurts, man. It hurts me. It hurts me because he's been my childhood friend my whole life, and now he doesn't feel safe. Do you know how crazy that is, man? These lawmakers only care about the tourists and the money coming into this city. They could care less about anything else. I mean, for crap's sakes, man, they made laws against drag queens. They made laws, I mean, really, for somebody expressing themselves because that's who they are. But you're gonna arrest them, but you won't arrest hate speech, no. It's ridiculous, man. That is true hate speech. Or BLM, they come in. Oh, well, arrest them. Nope, but not this neo-Nazi fucking bigoted group, man. And, it, and it, it scares me because I do wonder if it's all lawmakers behind those masks. And then a lot of times, you know, I always state this. They wear masks because they can actually dish the hate out, but they can't reciprocate it back. They don't know how to take it when it comes back because they're cowards. They're absolute cowards. When I saw my comments and I, I kept seeing all the positive stuff, that there is more of us than them. It, it made me smile just a little bit because I was like, okay, so all we got to do is keep voicing this. If we keep pushing that we're not going to take this shit, we can outnumber them. We can get them out of office. Nashville needs a change and Tennessee needs a change. And we got to demand it. It's not for us anymore. It's for our kids, man. It's so our kids can have an equal and fair opportunity for all people to go out and do whatever. People of color, myself, everybody, all be held equally and love one another. And if we don't do that and speak about this and keep putting our foot down and saying no and push against the system, because what they, they, don't, they don't want us to do that. They want us to break. And we can't do that. We've got each other. We've got to push more now than ever. We're in voting season right now, man. We've got to do this. We've got to make a difference. And again, if not for us, for our children. And I will say this, the people of color need us more now than ever. And I'm talking about somebody that looks just like me. Nobody understands Right now, I am getting to go outside and fish, and I'm not saying, oh, no, they're held into their house, but absolutely they are. Honestly, they are. It might not be a physical hold against their will, but do you, can you imagine my, my, my best, one of my best friends, man, doesn't want to be around. Like, that's sad. Because he's, he's, every time he walks out the door, he doesn't know what he's got to deal with. Not to mention what his kids have to deal with. Where is that fair? Where is that right? Tennessee is an awesome state, man. Or at least I thought it was. And these damn lawmakers, 
They don't care, man. They care more about what's going on on Broadway and the tourists and the money that comes in. And again, I have to stop. I have to cite the Riley Strain stuff. They would not let this young man's stuff come out during CMA Fest. What does that tell you? They don't care. They only care about what people perceive this state to be. And the people coming in, bringing the money. Not their taxpayers. They don't care. So we have to make them care by getting them out of there and putting people in there who absolutely will make a change.